Hello everybody and welcome to a new start, a DL card using a gel press with me, Emma Jo. So I'm starting with Bob Long gel press and I've put a little bit of the acrylic Lavinia Stamps chalk acrylic paints, jet black, and I'm spreading it over there with a brayer. Nice even layer and I'm going to attach some, attach, I'm going to place, carefully place, some crafting yarn in lots of lovely shapes. And I'm also adding some superbly pressed leaves and flowers using my Lavinia flower press. And we'll see how they turn out. It'd be exciting. It's always a bit of an adventure when you're using something that you've pressed because you never quite know what's going to happen. So I'm putting some DL Multifarious card down. Taking a bit of a print by giving the gel press and paper a bit of a massage. And let's see what we've got. Ooh, very interesting. So taking these bits and pieces off, we're left with the shapes of what we're going to get. So I'm cleaning my brayer because if I don't, it can get a little bit muddy. In an ideal world, world you'd have one brayer for... Um, for the light colours and one for the dark but this one at this moment in time is just one brayer doing two jobs so I have got Lavinia Stamps Chalk Acrylic Paints Honey Bee and Ruby Punch which are rather lovely look at the colour on that it's stunning I'm just going to pop that over the gel press and then add a little colour of the Ruby Punch right at the bottom there we go and build it up might get a little bit squishy in the middle there we go can you start to see the um, pattern underneath coming through that my friends i call ghosting not sure if it is but that's what i call it and then taking your dl multifarious card again give it a little bit of a massage and look look at what we've got now i'm not going to stress too much that there's a whole load of white on the left hand side because you know what we can do stuff with that so you can see I've got the Gansai Tampi gem colours and I'm using the pink and the gold. There might well be more colours coming soon. Um, as in, in this picture, not anything else. So I'm just adding little bits of gold to the leaves. Not too much, I just want a little subtle shimmer. And you can see me doing that there. So I'm putting the colour on and when I think it's a little bit too much, I'm blotting it. Now this is what I mean. I'm not worried about there being a blank space there. We can more or less work out where it might have been and we can add a pure bit of Gansai Tambi there, which is rather lovely. Sprinkling a, spraying a little bit of water and just taking that colour over. And because we've used the honeybee, adding that gold to it just makes it look so rich and glorious. It's lovely. So I'm just adding a little bit of the pink. And because I sprayed water, it'll beautifully blend into each other. Now drying that off with my trusty Ranger heat tool, I'm starting to add some lovely colour. Now do you remember we had some leaves up there and I'm using a Posca pen, apple green, just giving it a little bit of definition down the stems. And I'm going to do the same sort of thing with our beautiful leaf at the bottom. Ah. And add some spots and dots.
So what I'm doing is I'm taking that same theme up over our, it almost looks like a halfway point line across the middle, doesn't it? Just over that to break that line and take us into the next dimension almost. Well, not dimension, but next part. And gives it a bit of a flow then, doesn't it? So because we've got green at the bottom, I have to have green at the top. Acts as a bit of a balance and joins the whole design together. Crack open that Posca Pen Aqua Green and add a little bit of that to some of the green. And I've got this lovely yellow sparkly Posca for a bit of subtle bling, then some quickie glue pen, heat it up a little bit, not too much, and add some more quickie glue along that line at the top, give it a blast of heat, then what are we going to do? Ah, it's Wow Fab foil time, and we're using the rose gold. And you can see, even while I'm using the, the quickie glue pen at the bottom, you can keep getting glimpses of that lovely foil at the top. So I'm just adding that foil down the bottom there where we've just gone around some of those dots. And again, quickie glue pen. Taking that theme up again, over that dividing line. Quick blast of heat. That rose gold is lovely. I'm using a stickle and this should be, I think it's sea foam. Yes, there it is. So when I pick this up, it's going to have a lovely shimmer and sheen in from lots of different angles. It's going to be great. So adding some bits of bling across those spots and dots that we've done. Just tiny little dots of it. And this is that sparkling yellow Posca pen going in between the leaves at the top to give it a bit of a lift. But the base of this is all down to the chalk acrylic paints and they are beautiful colours. So really it is quite abstract. But as long as you're enjoying the shapes and you're making some beautiful colours and remembering to balance them by having a sort of mirror effect at the top and at the bottom. So if there's one colour at the top, you'll see it balanced at the bottom. It should all work beautifully. If you're somebody who likes everything to be just so, this is the sort of thing that will help you relax a bit more with your creativity because you, you can't really get this just so. It's always going to be unique. It, it's going to be special in its own right. And I think, I think every now and again it's really good for us to do things like this. So you just saw me using some dots with my paintbrush and I've just, that was the Gansai Tambi. Now we're going to make up, I think this is quite a long sentiment now. Uh, as you can see, I've taken some words and I'm starting to make my own sentence. And remember, use the lines of the thread and the string and the ribbon and all the bits and pieces to act as your 
your sentence line, if you like. So I've decided I'm going to go straight down the left-hand side. And I've got take each new day as it comes. And start again. Tomorrow. And I always find the more you, once you add the words, everything seems to come together and make sense. So that's my Kuretake Clean Colour Real Brush Pens and that's the black. And all I'm doing is popping it along the edge and adding a little bit of water to give it a bit of smudgeroo. So it looks like a shadow and it's rather lovely because it gives us that fake faux edge of a gel press if you like. And if you think any of your leaves need a little touch up then this is the sort of thing you can do with it. Just touch up the edges that you want a little darker and then add some water and soften it if you want to. So I've gone in with my Uniball, I never get this right, Uniball Gel Pen Gold Broad and I'm just adding some stripes. And if in doubt, Grab that Posca pen aqua green and add some dots. We are so nearly there. And it looks like I've also managed to put a butterfly on there as well. Can you see? And that will be the sentiment sticker seven. That's the, the come from the bottle stickers. And it just, once you pick it up, you can see all those wonderful colours and foils and bling and stickles and just delicious. And there you go, my friends. You did it. Well done.